Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing Android 13 based custom ROM for our Redmi Note 10. And this is the Spark OS by the way. Uh, let me show you its Android version and other settings by going into the about phone section. As you can see here, uh, the Android version of this ROM is Android 13. You can also check the device name which is the Mojito and by the way this is not the official build but still it works great there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM and uh, from here you can check the chipset display Android security patch which is also all the way latest 5 September 2022 and uh, the ROM is pretty much stable in this video I will be reviewing it out and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 10 and I will also show you how you can install this uh, iPhone 14 Pro uh, feature on your Redmi Note 10. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the ROM is pretty much stable and uh, as you can see here there is no any single bug or issue. Even this ROM is not laggy and in the camera we have this uh, Gcam Go camera pre-installed in this ROM but you can also install the standard Gcam to get the all other uh, features on your Redmi Note 10. So. Other than that, we don't have a lot of junky application. We only have some needed applications. And as you can see here, here we also have the game space application right here. That's mean you can do gaming on this uh, device using this ROM. So how I installed this uh, iPhone 13 look like notch on my Redmi Note 10. I just downloaded an application named Dynamic Island from the Play Store and it just turned uh, my simple notch into the iPhone 14 Pro notch. Just turn it on and it will uh, do the old stuff for you. It will show the notification, upcoming calls and you can also do a lot of stuff using this feature. So other than that, uh, the ROM is pretty much stable and in the home screen here we have wallpaper and style. In the wallpaper and style, first of all you can change the wallpaper. Here we have uh, some Spark OS wallpapers pre-installed right here as you can see here. You can use any of these and other than that we have some space options, strange dimensions, unsplash and uh, elementary wallpapers pre-installed. So then we have the wallpaper colors and you can also access the basic colors. So after it we have the widgets option. You can add a lot of widgets uh, on, on into your home screen and customize it. Other than that here we have home screen option. In this uh, uh, ROM we get this launcher launcher with some minimum settings like icons, home screen, app drawer, recents and misc. So from the left you can get the Google now feed as you can see here and uh, now without wasting more time let's dig into the settings. In the settings first of all we have the setting uh, title right here then we have the search bar search option right here. So other than that we have the user uh, option and uh, from the quick setting you can access a lot of options right from here and uh, the power option is right here as you can see here it is pretty much snappy it just feels cool and uh, you can add a lot of uh, options and shortcuts by editing the quick settings so first of all we have the Wi-Fi and network connected devices Fireworks, in the fireworks we have all available customizations. First of all we have the themes option. From the themes you can change the Moret engine and uh, then we have the font settings, icon settings, signal icon settings, Wi-Fi icon settings and uh, then we have icon shapes. After it we have the nav bar style but we are not using the navigation bar. Uh, we are using the gesture. Then we have the main menu layout. I am using the OSIP. You can uh, choose any of these. Let's try the OnePlus. And it just looks pretty much cool as you can see here. The whole UI is changed into the OnePlus UI. As you can see here. Let's get back to the fireworks, themes. And then we have some menu headers, main menu header, user card and some other options. Then we have the brightness slider. You can change its position. And then we have the QS, Q, QS panel styles. Then we have uh, some other QS customizations like animation style and other settings. Then we have the lock screen. From here you can change the lock screen clock style. 
let's try the oxygen os and it just looks like this it pretty much feels cool then we have weather charging animation and some other ripple effect and media cover art options then we have the status bar in the status bar you can get the status bar items uh, then we have the clock style you can change the date and uh, clock and date you can enable or disable the battery bar you can enable the traffic network traffic uh, indicators you can also enable the custom logo right from here and you can also change the style so after it we have the colored icons show notification count and some other icon settings and uh, at the end we have the battery style you can change the battery style right from here you can also enable or disable the battery percentage so other than that we have the battery style uh, for the quick settings and battery percentage after it we have the gestures option right here from here we have the system settings and here we have the system gestures like quickly open camera system navigation bar you can use the two button and navigation uh, two button navigation bar and three button navigation bar also and uh, then we have the one handed mode which is uh, working pretty much cool and it just looks pretty much good but the notch comes <laughs> out to the bottom uh, not the bottom in the middle of screen so after it we have the press and hold power button and the swipe three fingers to screenshot playback control and uh, double tap uh, to check the phone which is pretty much like always on display and it looks pretty much cool so after it here we have the prevent ringing and uh, other than that we have the toggle torch when screen off volume rocker wake and some other uh, gestures right from here then we have the misc in the misc we have no notification light battery light and uh, screen off animation heads up ambient light uh, ambient edge lighting and uh, some other options like smart pixel you can use the smart pixel to reduce uh, to save the battery sorry uh, it can be helpful to save the battery life and then we have the power option right here from here we have the system settings hold for the google assistant and then we have the disable power menu on lock screen and you can also enable the advanced reboot right from here so the rom is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this rom everything is just working fine you can download and play any game you can also download and uh, run any application on this rom so this rom is recommended for daily usage and uh, it is based on this android 13 the security patch is also latest and if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 10 the process is pretty much sim simple just download the rom from the link in the description and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery after rebooting into the recovery uh, make sure the rom is stored into your internal storage or sd card or you can also use any external hard drive i am using the external hard drive so after going into the recovery just go to wipe click on format data type yes and click on this tick button it gonna wipe your data so i am not going to do this step because i have already installed this rom on my redmi Net note 10 so after formatting data go back to home from here you can select the storage and mine is in the usb otg so first i have to go into the mount and mount my storage go back and as you can see here the storage has been mounted and now from here i have to locate the downloaded rom uh, which is right here as you can see here spark os 5.3 beta android 13 based so just swipe it right from here after installing the spark os android 13 rom uh, make sure to flash the custom recovery zip file to make it permanent on the new rom so after doing these steps you can also flash the magics manager if you want to root your rom and uh, now go back to reboot click on system and the rom will be installed on your redmi note 10 in a few seconds so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace